the high level, we basically wanted to stay with the uh, almost a generic fantasy concepts. So you have the archer and adventure and a knight. So those are very familiar concepts. But we wanted to kind of put a spin on how they looked. That's why you know, the archer, he kind of feels like a turn of the century hunter almost. Basically, we dropped an anchor on like the turn of the century, costumes, armor, things that we would reasonably find in that era. So we went all the way from the Renaissance to 1930s or as late as 50s. And they're like very strains of steampunk, you know, from the extreme to the very moderate. And I'm that over there, just very moderate. I think towers are convenient. It's kind of like a mountain. It's like, why do you climb up a mountain? Because it's there, right? If there's a tower in a game, it feels like you're supposed to go up. Basically, it was either having a tower that goes all the way up, or it was having a dungeon that goes all the way down. And we thought the tower is a little bit more positive. Everyone keeps asking, like, are you inspired by my Brothers Grimm? And I think our game touches on that mood or that world. And also, it's convenient that these characters are grinning perpetually <laughs> in some form. <laughs> so, we weren't trying to be too clever. It just, it just fit nicely. Sometimes it writes itself. Thank you.